What's going on YouTube? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. Um, going to finish up my series on the the uh, Colt Snake Guns. Now, the last video, you I talked to you about the Anaconda, the Boa, the Cobra, and then lastly, the Diamondback. So in this series, I'm going to bring you the rest of the Snake Guns, which only leaves me three. But I have one of the three here. Now... The next one on the list in alphabetical order is the King Cobra. Now the King Cobra was in production, it was kind of a weird production. It was in production from 1986 to 1992. Then it ceased in 1993 but picked back up in 94 and ran until 1998. This particular gun you could get in a 2 inch, 2 and a half inch, 4 inch, 6 inch and 8 inch long barrel. Uh, you can only get them in 38s and 357s. Um, now it's, it, it, I've seen a few of the King Cobras around. I've never shot one, but I have seen them. Now, certain ones of them are more rare than the others and worth a lot more. And you talk about another wide range of variety uh, in price too. Um, some of your lower end of the King Cobras are 800 bucks. You can pick them up for 800 bucks. Go all the way up to three grand. Um, so anyway, then we got through the King Cobra. Now the next one I'm going to bring in is one of the longest running ones as far as their production goes outside of, let's see, I think the, yeah, probably the Cobra was the next longest one which was from 1950 to 1981. But the next one we'll bring in <clears throat> probably went a little further. Um, is more iconic too, as far as the snake guns go. Now I'm going to push the diamond back here without knocking her off the stand. The best I can. Okay, knock it off the stand anyway. We're going to bring in, bring in the big brother. Now, everybody has seen this gun. I actually have a video shooting this gun. This is um, the Python. This one was available in 2.5, 3 inch, 4 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch barrel. You can get this in 357 Magnum only. <clears throat> now you're saying, oh, it's just coming in 357, but you can still shoot 38 through it. Anybody knows guns knows that. But this particular gun is an all blue, all blue gun does have a gold trigger on it. You can see that. It's pretty cool. Now this guy, a long time ago, kind of oranged up his sight, so when you look down the side of it, you get that orange instead of just plain black. I know that part took away from it a little bit, but still, it's the Python. You can see it, 357. And let's see if we can get the horse. There's the horse. Get the horse coming in. But anyway, let's get you a good look at that gun. There is holster wear on this gun. Believe it or not, this fella carried this gun quite a bit. I couldn't imagine carrying this heavy gun around. Like I said, this is part of one of the longer running productions of the Snake series. <clears throat> it was in production from 1955 to 1996. So I would say it's probably definitely one of the longest running productions of the snake guns. <clears throat> now, the very last one I'm going to talk about was put in production in 1990, or 1977 and taken out in 1977. And that was the Viper. Uh, the Viper, kind of an odd gun. You could only get a 4 inch barrel in 38 Special. Um, Numbers wise, how many were made? Not a lot. They weren't well perceived in the public's eye as far as, you know, a typical snake gun. So in turn, the value of those guns, well, basically what I copied down off the internet is I've seen some going for a thousand bucks all the way up to what I put, what the WTF. That means what the you know what. Uh, 
there's been a couple I've seen that are unfired. The people were wanting, I think, $12,000, $14,000 for those guns. Because it was a one-year only gun. So now, I've given you, basically, I see, the seven main snake guns. Now, there were different variations of these, too. There was a law enforcement gun. There were some other guns, and I don't have all of those in detail. But I have the main, the main family of the snake guns, which was your anaconda, the boa, the cobra, the diamondback, the king cobra, your python, and a viper. So, that's my little history on the Colt snake guns. I know there's a lot more to it than that. I have these two available where I can get to them and show you guys. So I thought I'd do it one more time at least. Um, still probably not going to get to go shoot them. But that's alright. I've shot them a couple of times. And if you ever get to wrap your hands around one of these bad boys and pull the trigger on it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Smoothest trigger, smoothest shooting gun I've ever held. So anyway, that's all it is to it. Um, be prepared.